Hi, I'm Michelle Bega with a look at what's happening in Latin America now. But first, our news trivia. Which Latin American country will not be holding presidential elections in October? We'll have the answer later. Venezuela's government says they have dismantled the criminal group called Tren de Aragua. 11,000 soldiers and police were sent to the Tocoron prison, which the gang was using as its operations headquarters. The prison had restaurants, bars, and even an outdoor swimming pool. The government says the raid dealt a devastating blow to the criminal group, but some citizens believe the leader of the group escaped before the military got there. Since 2014, the gang of roughly 5,000 members has specialized in criminal activities such as kidnapping, robbery, drug trafficking, prostitution, and extortion. Record numbers of Latin Americans migrating are producing all sorts of challenges, especially for humanitarian workers. But now officials in Panama say the problem is extending to the environment. The jungle between Panama and Colombia, called the Darien Gap, is suffering irreversible damage. This is according to Panama's security minister, Juan Manuel Pino, who visited the region with his Costa Rican counterpart. 390,000 migrants have reportedly crossed the jungle so far in 2023. That's a huge increase from the 244,000 that crossed in all of 2022. Trash buildup that is left behind includes plastic, clothing, diapers, all of which lead to the pollution of the jungle and its rivers. Now let's go to my colleague Al Baverstock, who has more on the migration as it approaches the northern part of the Americas. Thanks, Michelle. And once those migrants have crossed Darien, they continue their journey north through Central America and Mexico to the U.S. border. And they are arriving now in record numbers. In El Paso alone, border officials have been encountering 1,200 irregular border crossings every day, stretching resources to their limit. Major railway routes have been suspended on the lines most used by the migrants to travel, hitching rides on the northbound wagons. And Mexican officials have agreed to begin deporting migrants from their border cities back to their countries of origin. But as the U.S. grants temporary legal status to hundreds of thousands of migrants that are already in the country, many more refugee hopefuls may now just be starting out on the five and a half thousand kilometer migrant trail from Darien to the U.S.-Mexico border. South America's winter months are coming to an end, but the region continues to contend with unusual heat. The countries affected are Brazil, Paraguay, Bolivia and Argentina. Record-breaking heat is causing many issues, including making wildfires more difficult to control. In Brazil, fires in the Amazon left behind burnt trees and fearful communities in the Autaces municipality. In Paraguay, firefighters are also battling blazes in the Lake Ipicaray Natural Reserve. In Paraguay, firefighters are also battling blazes in the Lake Ipicaray Natural Reserve, about 50 kilometers east of the capital Asuncion. Now let's check out what stories we're following for next week. We're following the discovery of eight different pre-Hispanic tombs in the rural areas of northern Lima, Peru. Gas workers were laying down pipes when they found what now appears to be a 1,000-year-old children's burial site. Did you know that in Lima, a city of 10 million inhabitants, there are more than 500 archaeological sites? And in eight years, this gas company says they have found more than 1,800 vestiges of ancient culture. And now the answer to our news trivia. The answer is B. Uruguay is not holding presidential elections, but Ecuador and Argentina will both be electing new leaders in October. Violence-stricken Ecuador will hold the second round of its special election cycle on October 15th. Voters will choose between Luisa Gonzalez and Daniel Novoa. Argentina. Voters will choose between Luisa Gonzalez and Daniel Novoa. Argentina will have general elections with three presidential candidates running, including a controversial Trump-like candidate, Javier Milei. And that's it for this week. We'll see you again soon on Latin America Now.